The Lost Millennium was released in June 2005. Fans of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX series know that this was the set that debuted the Elemental Hero Monsters. Notable cards in this set include Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, Ancient Gear Golem, DD Survivor, Death Wombat, and a classic Yu-Gi-Oh! card so powerful that it has been both banned and errated to once again become legal in the TCG, brain control. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh progression series. Oh, guys, let me tell you, it feels good to be sitting back in the winner's circle. We got to spin the wheel today. Hopefully, you can get more tournament packs or, you know, a wild card of any rarity seems pretty nice, too. Just being able to spin the wheel, it feels good. Trust me. Let's just spin it. All right, a rare wild card. I have to go see what's from the set we just opened to see if there's like any actually anything decent. All right, so looking through the rares, I already have my play set of Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, so I don't need any more of those. I guess I'll just pick up, you know what? I'm gonna pick up a Swords of Concealing Light because that's a pretty okay rare card. I don't think it's anywhere in my main deck or side deck right now, but it might come in handy, you know, later in the game. So we're gonna pick up another copy of that. That's our rare wild card for Flaming Eternity. But today, we are opening The Lost Millennium. Man, is this how Gage was feeling the first few episodes that I was kicking his ass? Because, man, this is not looking good, guys. We are just getting completely bodied by Emperor, and we have to change things up. But here we are, another episode, Lost Millennium, released on June 1st, 2005. I would say this is a relatively low-impact set, at least for the purposes of our series, and kind of like larger competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole. There wasn't really too many big heavy hitters, but that doesn't mean there aren't still a few cards we're going after. This set introduced the hero monsters, which is one of the most fan favorite archetypes because we are now entering the GX era of things. And so uh, Flaying Wingman and Thunder Giant are both in this set. But again, I don't think we're going to be using those because they're just really not viable. Ancient Gear Golem is one hell of a tribute monster. Uh, it's something that we're, again, probably not going to use because it just requires way too much investment. But the fact that it has piercing and makes it so that when you attack, your opponent can't activate spells or traps. Beast and Soldier do the same thing, but they're just, you know, one tribute and no tribute respectively. Cool, but again, not really too great for what we're trying to achieve. DD Survivors in this set, this is a card that is an 1800 level four. It's a dark, and if it gets banished uh, during the end phase, if it was banished face up from the field, you get to special summon it, which is kind of neat. Um, It was actually used in some variants of decks back in the day. Uh, we don't really have too many ways to banish things like from the field. So again, we're not really gonna be seeing much of this card. Death's Wombat was actually a very big deal at the time because this was a hard counter to burn decks, any damage to you from a card effect becomes zero. And this was huge. This was a, basically a side deck staple from then on out to combat any sort of burn strategy. Also 1600 attack, not bad. There's the Flame Wingman and the Thunder Giant. Also Reshef the Dark Being, uh, just a ritual monster that again, it was okay. You could like take control of your opponent's monsters, but you know, ritual monsters back in the day until we get to like demise weren't really too practical. Now this is is a card, Brain Control. Now, the thing is, this has had Narada, so it's not nearly as good as it used to be. So back in the day, it said, pay 800 life points, target a face-up monster your opponent controls, period. That was it. There was no, that can be normal summoned or set. You take control of it until the end phase. So you contribute it, and you can attack with it. So Brain Control is a really cool way that, like, if Gage were to be on low life, we can take, like, his Zaborg or his Mobius, attack him directly with it, and win the game out of nowhere. I already have Snatch Steel, so, like, I can already do that, but brain control is a way that he can have access to do it, and I could have multiple ways to do the same thing. So that pretty much wraps it up for Lost Millennium. Not really too much to talk about other than the hero cards and like brain control, but still a pretty iconic set nonetheless. So let's get over and start cracking some Lost Millennium. Pack numero uno. Okay, nothing special. There's our first super rare, Ultimate Insect level seven. Who knows where the other levels are? I don't think I have any of them, and I don't think I will get any of them, but that's okay. Poopy Super Rare, it is what it is. There's another suit. What the heck is this? <laughs> Iraco Sphinx? I don't even know what this card does, bro. Your opponent cannot select a face down defense position monster as an attack target. 
Yeah, I'd rather just summon a Monarch. Another super rare, Winged Karibo. Whoa, dude, if we get the Transcendent Wings and Winged Karibo level 10 later on, that's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Oh, an ultimate rare. Spell Stopping Statue. I actually don't even know what this card does. Activate only when your opponent activates a continuous spell card. Negate the activation. Destroy. Yeah. Cool. So this is a very big episode. Dark Revelation would be the prize on the wheel for whoever wins this episode. We did this already in a previous episode with Dark Beginning 1. And so again, it's just another reprint set that can give us some incredibly powerful shots at some really good cards that we didn't get before. And they're at lower rarities, making it even easier to obtain them. So we're going to have to see what happens, but I'm feeling pretty good today. All right, so 24 packs of Lost Millennium. Let's see if we can get that brain control we did get a super rare it was wing karibo but not the super rare we were looking for come on we got to get this copy of brain control another super rare but it's master monk oh my god is this how this is gonna go am i gonna get every super rare besides brain control dd survivor is also cool again i don't think we're ever gonna really need this card but it's nice to have oh my god another super rare ultimate insect level seven funny enough i actually think i have ultimate insect one three five and seven uh they're terrible by the way they're not great, but I guess it's kind of cool that I finished the set, I guess. Another ultimate insect, level 7. Wow. Master Monk is a super rare man. Look at this guy. This guy is fucking swole. All right, coming up on the last few packs here. Nothing impressive yet. I've gotten a couple super rares, but I'm looking for that, uh, that brain control. How did I miss that on that one? All right, last pack opening up here. Brain control? No, that's okay. I... I didn't expect too much from this pack opening. I got like five supers, but none of them any decent. So I don't even know if the main deck's gonna really change. Let's see if there's anything we can throw in. We are well past the halfway point. Yes, break it, Joe. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Again, it's a super rare. So like, I'm not super shocked that we got it, but like, I could not imagine if we didn't pull it because later on, this card is going to be so incredibly powerful. I, I might even play it today. Who knows? It's kind of a weird one because I already have Snatch Steel. So it's like, Snatch Steel's arguably the better card, but it's another card that also can do this. So we'll have to see. All right, moving on. Oh my God, a second break. So the best part about pulling a second brain control is the fact that because of the errata, it's no longer on the forbidden or limited list, which means for the purposes of our series, we can play brain control at three copies. This is why Gage is able to play two Chaos Emperor, because again, that's also had an errata. So if we get multiple brain controls, man, it just might be a huge control war. <laughs> so oh, an ultra rare Reshef the Dark Being again. Probably not playing this card at all, but pretty cool to pull an Ultra nonetheless. So that's going to do it for my last pack. As you guys can see, there's not really too much going on. That's kind of how these sets during this time were, is that, yeah, there was like a couple good cards, and it was cool to have the heroes introduced into the game, but, you know, not really too much in terms of the competitive spectrum. But where's my back-to-back -back brain controls? There it is. Look at that, right one after another. This card is so powerful, but I don't know, actually. We're going to go ahead and throw it into Dueling Book and start building, but we'll talk about that a little bit later all right looking at today's profile barely any changes i don't think like there's only one i decided to take out metamorphosis throw it into the side deck and put the king tiger wangu in just because alex has been going with the same strategy for most of the episodes i kind of expect him to still play his weenies and try to do something with them so this might be an okay decent normal summon you know as for everything else yeah i'm like super satisfied with how this deck performed i'm just ready to clap him again next round with dust tornado now imperial order doesn't become an efficient out for the cold wave combo so if i go cold wave he flips order i can flip a dust that maybe i was holding on to in the back row to ensure that the ced is going to stay and just win the game and everything else you know is just the same confiscation still haven't seen it yet so if we can see it this match it's gonna be huge other than that yeah you know i'm just ready to do ready to give alex those hands yet again let's get in there let's see what he switched up if anything all right guys here we are and this is the deck we are bringing to today's duel i gotta admit this is pretty radically different than what we've been doing thus far but i think chaos emperor dragon has kind of put us in a corner where we have to adjust to what gage is doing here so there's a lot of cards that are similar but we're gonna walk through the mentality here so let's start with two chaos sorcerer i cut this down from three because i'm actually playing a smaller light count in this deck and so because i'm not playing painful choice in the main either i wanted to just make it so that you know chaos sorcerer wasn't going to be as dead but it's still one of our big power pushes if we get there i think we're still playing five lights between the two merchant the one faith and the two white magical hat so five lights for two chaos sorcerer that's not too bad. We have Dekoichi, the Gravekeeper's Guard, two Spy, two Merchant, only one Magician of 
faith. As you can see, there's only seven spell cards in this variant of the deck. And so with two Magician of Faith, I was running into the issue when I was testing this that I would draw Magician of Faith a lot of the time and the spells were either not there to get back with Faith or the spells weren't really like too great. Getting a Book of Moon off of Faith isn't like a particularly great and like depending on the circumstances, some of these other cards, like Pot of Greed's always the best, right? But like Looping Regeki's cool, but you know, Heavy Storm, if he doesn't have a lot of back row, it's not the greatest. So I decided to actually cut this down to one for that reason. I still have the second one uh, available if I need it later on. So we'll just have to see how this plays out. We have the Mobius still as well as the Thestalos. These are the two power pushes. You actually might notice Jinzo is in the side deck and we're going to talk about that when we get to the trap lineup. We've got the three uh, Knight Assailants, let's say two Vindictive Magician and Knight Assailant. Two Sangen, I actually bumped this up to two because if there's a world where he emperors and I have a set Sangen, I will actually be able to get a card off of Emperor's effect, so I'm not just in a complete top deck war with him. And so Sangan can search everything in the deck except for the tribute monsters and the chaos sorcerers, so that's pretty good as well. We've got two Sukiyomi now. If you notice, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flip effect monsters in this deck. And so the purpose of this is kind of to play a flip control style of deck to a degree until we get to our big power pushes being Thessalos, Mobius, or Chaos Sword. And so Sukiyomi being bumped up to two, I think is going to help just ensure that we're going to get either more cards, bounce his stuff back, keep flipping our spy down if we need to get more resources. Merchant's going to get us more cards and the Vindictives and the Knight Assailant can keep popping his monsters to just souk loop him in a very good fashion. And then the two white magical hat, of course, because A, it's a light, but B, it can also rip the Chaos Emperor straight out of his hand. The spells, two Book of Moon, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Pot of Greed, Regeki, and Snatch Deal. Brain Control is in the side. The thing is, I only have two tribute monsters and one of the issues with Brain Control specifically is that it has to target face up monsters. That's pre errata too, by the way. So the issue is like we've set a lot of monsters a lot of the time. I already have Snatch Deal, which I think is better than Brain Control, honestly, because there's like the same restrictions, but I actually get to keep the monster, which I think is way better. Yeah, it's susceptible to like back row removal and all that. But nonetheless, I just think it's probably a better card overall. You could argue that with Phoenix Wing Wind Blast being in the format, Brain Control could be better, but I figured I already have a Brain Control light card that I don't really need to put in more, although I did side them just in case I want to adjust my strategy as the games go on. Now, this is where things get different. We have a huge, huge trap line up here. Two Bottomless, two Compulse, Imperial Order, two Mind Crush, three Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, two Sakuretsu Armor, and the Torrential Tribute. So the reason I upped the trap count so much is because I need to have as many ways as possible to ensure that Chaos Emperor Dragon will not resolve. And so if you look here, pretty much every card except for Imperial Order and Sakuretsu Armor can stop Emperor from resolving. If I get Cold Waved, like that's a completely different story, but Bottomless can kill it, Compulse can bounce it, Mind Crush can hit it out of his hand if I think he might have it, Phoenix Wing can put it to the top of his deck, and Torrential can also kill it as well. Book of Moon can also set it face down, so I have two more outs in the form of Book of Moon to at least give me a one-turn reprieve, but I noticed that I just need to have very reactive back row. Otherwise, if Emperor gets dropped, I'm not going to have any chance to stop it whatsoever, so it may be a bit overkill, but I'd rather have more outs than, and, and then like way more outs than he has chances of seeing Emperor, so that way I'm prepared and can easily take on what he's going to throw at us. For the side deck, we've got Chaos Sorcerer, uh, and well, as well as Painful Choice, we, a lot of the cards in the side deck are just strictly from the old main deck. So if we need to go back to like not as many traps, it's very easy to swap out. Exile Force, Jinzo, the Magical Merchant, and the Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. So the reason Jinzo is actually in the side deck is because if I summon Jinzo and I don't have Book of Moon, he basically has a free shot to summon Emperor and I have no way to interact with Emperor whatsoever. So yeah, it may not necessarily make sense to say, oh, well, if he does have Emperor, then why would I Jinzo? But the thing is, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I can lose because I played my own card. That's just a little bit weird. He hasn't been playing too much back row anyway, so I don't know if Jinzo is necessarily like that big of a deal to lose. I still got Thessalos and Mobius as big beaters, so we'll see. Again, I can side it back in if I feel that that was a mistake. Then we have Cold Wave, the painful choice to Smashing Ground if I need a little bit more removal in the spell department, and then two Magic Drain and two Regeki Break for more outs to his uh, Emperor if I need it or just anything else in general, but definitely a different strategy. We got to change it up a bit. So let's see how it goes and hopefully it works out. It's time to duel. Well, Gage, here we are once again. Uh, you're on a two win streak. Congratulations for that, by the way. Uh, hey, thanks, bud. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to be on an 11 win streak, though. I can only imagine the thrill. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, at this rate, that's how things are going for you. So I'm hoping to change that if this episode. Uh, this set wasn't particularly great, I would say. Uh, yeah, there, I agree. There's maybe like one good card, maybe two. But yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> no, nah, I I don't know. I was opening them. I was like, yeah cool like me I, I was pulled super rares <laughs> and i was like well these are cool dude we karibo hell yeah bro but before we do want to start we do want to shout out a random patron at the beginning of each episode for them supporting us over on patreon and so for this episode we have paokella all the way from hawaii paokella thank you so much for your guys's support thank you are you ready i'm ready let's go let's do it okay you know i i should just accept my fate with rock paper scissors yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> you really should just give up dude uh, you know, I, I, I made a video the other day where um, I think I was like doing something on YGO Omega or something, mm -hmm. and I, I won the rock, paper, scissors, and I'm like, why can't this uh, happen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the wrong platform, dude. It's only on Dolan. Basically, yeah, basically, yeah. that's exactly what it was. Okay, um, I think I will just start it off nice and simple with a... Let's go with a set, and we're going to set two cards face down. Oh, okay, I'll draw a little bit more of an advanced T set. Oh, this yeah. is the uh, pat this is the V set. <laughs> the patented V set. <laughs> All right, I'm going to normal summon the Sangin. I'm going to go battle phase and I'm going to swing into this face down. Yeah, that's fine. So it is a magical merchant. All right, I thought so. Go ahead and merch. Oh, there goes my Sangin. Oh, big All right. hit. I will take that Regeki. That's a good pickup. I'll go main phase 2. I will also do the patented V. And I'll just have my turn. I don't know. Yours looks more like a, a Y. Oh, yeah. With the Sanget inside. <laughs> it's the Triforce. Well, I guess we will just set a monster and pass the turn. Okay. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to throw this Sanget in defense. I'll set a card and I'll just have my turn. I will draw. Let's see how this pans out. I'm going to flip up Old Vindictive Magician and I'm going to attempt to pop your set monster. Uh... I'm going to activate my body as a shield to hold on to it. Wow. I really Interesting. want it. Yeah, you must. Wow. Okay. Do you, uh, do you have sure. the Tsukiyomi, so, though? Oh, no, you're tributing. Okay. No, I'm not tributing. My body as a shield destroys. Oh, does it? Oh, my God. Yeah. The card's even better than I thought it was, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my God. And you played Zoo for me. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> now I'm really curious. What do you really want to keep back there? What would you value so much? Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Let's see how much you really value it. I'm going to fire off for Geki. I kind of figured you wouldn't. You know what? I am 1,000% okay with that. It's just a Knight Assailant. Okay. And I'm going to get, get your this Sangin. Yeah, I could see. I was thinking you would want to keep Knight Assailant because then if I play another monster, then you can basically do what I just did to you. Yeah. So. I'm going to pick up your best friend. I'm going to pick up White Magical Hat. Okay. That's fine. I will just set a monster and I will set a card and pass. Draw. Yeah, I'll just also set a card and I'll pass. Pretty slow, Interesting. dude. Interesting. Yeah, this is a, a very slow game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip up Night Assailant, though, and pop your set. Yeah, seems about right. All right, it's only fair. <laughs> and for the follow-up, we do have the Tsukiyomi, and I will attempt to target my I Night knew Assailant. you had it. I knew you had it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's attempt to go to battle, see if the Tsukiyomi can get through. Yeah, it'll get through for 11. That's fine. Okay. I will just proceed to end phase. Tsukiyomi will return to my hand, and over to you, Duelist. I'll draw. That's a pretty good draw. I am going to normal summon Witch of the Black Forest. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm going to go battle phase, and I'm going to attack over your Knight Assailant. I'm actually going to Sakuretsu armor your Witch. Sure. So Witch is going to die, and I'm going to get this search. I don't feel good about it, but I do want to keep my Knight Assailant in rotation. I respect I it. It's pretty good. This I... has been a very slow game compared to some of the games we've had. Yeah, lately. yeah, we've had some quick ones compared to this. I... <laughs> <laughs> Lots of thinking. I'm going to pick up Mobius. It's nice that you can search that. Yeah, yeah, it? <laughs> it feels good. Uh, I'll just go to the end of my turn. Go ahead, dude. All right, I will draw. I'm just going to unfortunately set. I think I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Man, that Knight Assailant's a pain in the ass, dude. Isn't it? I love it. <laughs> I'll normal summon White Magical Hat, and I'll go battle phase again. Attempt to kill this Knight Assailant. Hmm. Got another Sakuretsu armor back there. I might. You don't know that, though. You know what? That's fine. So Assailant will kill the White Magical Head. That is A-OK -okay with me. I'll just pass my turn. Go ahead. I will draw. Ooh, that's a very good one. Let's fire off good old Pot of Greed. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> yep, all pretty right. good. 
So we're going to draw a couple cards here. Uh, I'm going to flip up Magician of Faith. Oh, what are you picking back up? <laughs> God of Greed, of course. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> figured that's fine. You can draw two more. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at the cards, Gage. This is so refreshing. Oh, man, the I combo. And you have Sukiyomi, bro. That's unbelievable. Oh, you know that's coming next. Sukiyomi, come on down. Yep, that's fine. And uh, we'll go to battle. Try to get in for another 11. I'm going to flip this wall, and I'm going to pay two. Ooh. Let me think about this, actually. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast in response. Oh, fuck, dude. That's so good. This, this is so good right yeah, now. I agree. That's I'm going to pitch this bottomless, get that wall back, and you are going to take this 1100. So it's like my Sukiyomi is a blue eyes white dragon now. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to put it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Main phase two, I am going to set three cards face down, and I will return Sukiyomi to my hand. Go All ahead. All right. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like I knew what I draw. I'm going to set two cards, and I'm going to just end my turn. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to draw. Let's flip up Magician of Faith. Is that okay? That's okay. Yep. I'm going to get Pot of Greed. And uh, we're going to fire off Pot of Greed again, if that's okay. That's A-OK, -okay too. Yep. All right. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I think I could just close it out here, potentially. Yeah, let's go ahead and see. Uh, I'm convinced that back row is Wall of Revealing Light, so I'm going to tribute this Magician of Faith for Mobius the Frost Monarch yep. and pop your supposed Wall of Revealing Light. That is what that is. Yep. I will compulsory evacuation device that monster back to your hand, and we are going to game two, baby. Yep. It's just <laughs> that easy, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Gage, I'm feeling so good about that first game. That is exactly how I pictured this was dude, going to go. That game took a left turn real kick, dude. I, I, I felt like I was in control of the game for like the first part of it. And then you're just like, okay, pot of greed. And I'm like, oh shit. And then you flip them off and I'm like, oh, this is over. Like, I don't have yeah. anything to do about yeah. that, dude. I can't. All right. Well, I'm still going to stick with the tried and true method. Getting that extra card going second. I just right, don't think well, it's the best way to go. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And good luck to you, sir. Good I will luck, just start man. off with a set. And we're going to do our patented V set once again. Oh, so go yes, ahead. the V set. I will draw. Is it a, maybe it's name. a U set. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, eh, no, if it was a U, I feel like there would be three face down monsters there. You know? That's true. Uh, I'm going to summon Witch of the Black Forest. I'm going to go yeah. battle phase. I'm going to see what this phase down is. Is it a magical merchant? I'm actually going to Book of Moon your witch. Oh, what the fuck? You really want to keep that that bad, huh? Uh, okay, I'll set it. <laughs> Main phase two, I'm just going to set a card. I'm going to end my turn. Okay, I will draw. And once again, I'm partially regretting that, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to tribute off this uh, white magical hat for Thestalos, the Firestorm Monarch, oh, baby. all right. Let's Finally. play, baby. Finally, we get to get this guy onto the field. And of course, we can't actually roll a number that's in your hand. Uh -huh, yeah, oh, uh -huh. come on. <laughs> it's okay. It's 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 <laughs> modulating the RNG for the emperor that's in your hand. Just oh, watch. There you it's go, this go. one. Bro, I can't believe this shit. No way. <laughs> I can't. Dude, that's unbelievable. Show it to me. Show what it is to your me. fucking luck, bro? That's unreal. <laughs> that's so cheap, dude. Oh, my God. That's BS. I can't believe it. You were like, oh, it's modulating. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I've got four <laughs> other cards. 25%. Nailed it. I'm going to sack a red to armor when you attack. Okay, that's fine. I'll respect that. Uh, so, Thessalos goes. All right, I'll just go ahead and end my turn. Go ahead. Dude, I can't believe this game. I'm going to draw. Stand by. I think you're looking pretty good this game. I still saying. think it's looking all right, but like. Man, what kind of luck is that? Like, honestly, ridiculous. I'll go and just flip up this witch. Uh, I'm going to get in there for 11. I will take it. I'll go main phase two. I will set two cards, and I'll just end my turn. Okay, I will draw. I guess I'll just set a card and pass. Go ahead. All right, seems good to me. I will draw. I'm just going to get in for another 11. I will take it. Go ahead, Dolist, your turn. Very, very passive gameplay once again here. I'll just set another card. Go ahead. Oh, thrilling. Uh, I'll draw. <laughs> that is pretty good. I will tribute my Witch of the Black Forest. Mobius. For Jinzo. Oh, a little bit that's better. way better. I'm going to go Witch yeah. of the Black Forest effect. Pick up Magical Merchant. That's fine. Sure. Uh, and I'll go battle phase attack with Jinzo. Take the 24. That's a lot. I'll go end my turn. Go ahead, Duelist. I will draw. I'm going to attempt to snatch steal this Jinzo. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. That's okay. Go ahead. You can have it. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Oh, let's attack into this and see what it is. All right, it's guard. So I'm going to just bounce it back to my hand. Okay, you get it back. That's fine. I'll take it. 
my snatch shield goes to the graveyard. Main two, I will just set a monster and pass. Go ahead. Okay, uh, during the end phase... You're going to wing blast me? Yeah, I'm going to wing blast that face down monster. I'm going to pitch to smashing ground, and I'm going to stack that. Uh, Sure. So two top of deck. Go okay, ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good draw. I like that. I'm going to uh -oh. activate confiscation. <laughs> And, oh, and get rid of that well, last card in your hand. It's nothing great. It was just Heavy Storm. Oh, yeah, it, it's not terrible, you know? It's not terrible, but you don't have any back row, and yeah, I have three, so yeah. like right now, it's not that great. It's not the most <laughs> impressive card. I'll go main phase one. I'll just set and pass. Go ahead. Okay. You already know that this is a set monster, so not much is going to be happening here. Awesome. I will draw. I will flip up my Magical Merchant, and I'll activate the effect. That is fine. Okay, let's see what we merch. I hope you get rid of that Chaos Emperor. This is looking good. This is looking like last episode, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my going? God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, that was like, what? what uh, one, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the tie for the record. On resolution of the merchant, I am going to compulse it back to your hand. You want to bounce it? That is fine by me. Okay, I'll get it back. I could have just compulsed it before you flipped it, but it was also nice seeing you mill eight cards. So. Yeah, you know, I, I bet it was satisfying. I'm going to make a read that that might be like Old Vindictive or something like that. So I'm going to activate Dark Hole and get rid of it. It was actually Magician of Faith. Okay, well, well, that's even better for me, though. I'd rather you not get Snatch Spiel back. Since I can't close this game out this turn, I will just end up setting three cards. And I'll just end my turn. Go ahead. Yeah, I will draw. I will set a monster past you. I will draw for turn. Ooh, that's a good draw. I'm going to start my turn by activating reinforcements of the army. I'll pick up DD Warrior Lady. Okay. She is. You have so good. many road to targets now. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna flip up this moth and I'm gonna activate the effect. I mean, not moth, the merchant. Magician, merchant, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean. I'm gonna activate the merchant <laughs> yeah. effect. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I'll pick up the cold wave. It's not bad. Um, I'm gonna tribute the merchant for Jinzo, and then I'll go battle phase. And I'll punch into this face down. Okay, uh, it was a merchant of my own. Yep, merchant can merch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, compulse. Uh, okay, we got a compulse. That's uh, pretty bad right now. Yeah, we'll completely say. dead card. <laughs> but uh, I'll just end my turn from there. Go ahead, dude. I will draw. Uh, let's go ahead and fire off Pot of Greed. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh-huh, you can draw too. Yep, don't have to worry about any of those pesky magic drains right now, as well as when I fire off Dark Hole. Uh, I'll chain my body as a shield. Oh, my body. Yeah, this card's that's coming in clutch, good. dude. It's like nuts how good that card is. Pretty good. Uh, I will just set everything and pass the turn. Got to play right. into infinite and permanence. You know? I'll draw. That's a really solid draw. I'll go pot of greed. That's a good one. Draw two more. All right, let's see if we can close it out here. I'll banish a light and a dark, and I'll summon chaos sork from my hand. Okay, sure. I will normal summon my DD Warrior Lady, and I'll go into the battle phase. Sure. I will attack with DD Warrior Lady on your face down monster here. So luckily it's an old Vindictive Magician, so I'm going to go ahead and pop your Jinzo. Okay, I respect that. That really sucks. Would actually. you like to banish with Warrior Lady? No, I'll keep the Warrior Lady up. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Well, now I can't close it out this turn, so... <laughs> um, That's correct. Could have Sakuretsu armor and everything. I'll just keep the Chaos Sorcerer up. I'll just set a card... And I'll end my turn. Go ahead, dude. Sure. I will draw. I will just set and pass. Uh, I will draw for turn. <sighs> I'll start my turn by activating Cold Wave. Do you have a response? Uh, I got to think about this. In response, I'm going to chain Compulsory Evacuation Device, target your DD Warrior Lady. The Warrior Lady? That's okay. So Warrior Lady will go back to hand. Do you have anything Correct. else? Nope. Okay. So Warrior Lady's back in hand. I'm just going to throw it back down. And I'll go Battle Phase. I'll attack in with Chaos Sorcerer into your face down. Okay. Uh, so it's Sukiyomi. Okay. So I will flip down your Warrior Lady just so I get a one-turn reprieve. That's fine. And then I'll just go to the end of my turn. Go ahead. All right. I uh, will draw. Not what I wanted to see. Go ahead. <laughs> awesome. I'll draw. Cold Wave's uh, pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty all right. I'll flip up my Warrior Lady. I'll just go Battle Phase. I'll attack with Warrior Lady. I'll take the 15. And then I'll attack with Chaos Sorcerer for game. I've got Sakuretsu armor for that one. I kind of figured you might have it. Yeah, that's fine. So Sork is going to go to Grave. Main Phase 2. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to set 
and I'll end my turn. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. Uh, I can actually set these cards now. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead. During the end phase, I'll dust that one. Ooh, that was the Imperial Order. Ooh, that's a pretty good hit. I'll draw for turn. Oh, that's a killer draw. That might just be the game. I'll start by activating Painful Choice. Uh, man, right after the Imperial Order. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Guessing that's okay, uh, right? Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, cool. I'll dump Magic Drain, Smashing Ground, Second Magic Drain, Compulse, and Wall of Revealing Light. Which one do you want to give me, dude? Uh, you can have Wall of Revealing Light. All right, I'll pick it up. That's fine. Neato. I will normal summon a Gravekeeper Spy. That is fine. I'll go battle phase. I'll attack you for 12. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Oh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm running low on cards and deck, dude. I, I better have something to win there. These have been some pretty good games, Gage. I yeah. mean, you know, there's there's been a good amount of back and forth. There's been like critical turning points. I haven't gotten blown out by Emperor Dragon, so that's always a relief. Yeah, so. not, not <laughs> yet at least. There's still one more game left, but <laughs> there's still it's plenty true. of opportunities to get crushed by him again. It's true. Uh, second is definitely where I want to be, so that's what I'm going to do. Best All of right. luck. Good luck, Duelist. I will do ye old classic tea set pass oh that's not a tea set you said a couple that's a, oh well that's there. more than a tea set yeah i could have <laughs> did the v set no <laughs> messing up you're messing up i'm gonna fire off this heavy storm to god damn off. dude oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You got rid of Compulse Ooh, and Wall. what did we get? Compulse light. and Wall. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, do ye old V-set. Oh, yes, the V-set. The superior move. I will draw for turn. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, all right, I'm going to try to set you back a turn. I'm going to flip up this Gravekeeper guard to bounce your face down monster. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Uh, I am going to normal summon my Witch of the Black Forest. That is A-OK. -okay. All right, I'm going to go battle phase. I'm going to poke you for 1,000 with this guard. I'll take the 1,000. And I'm going to poke you for 11 with this witch. I'll take that as well. Awesome. I'll just go to the end of my turn. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. You know, you're probably not going to like this. I'm going to fire off Regeki here for you. <laughs> dude, you had Heavy Storm Regeki. That's a <laughs> nutty hand, dude. All right, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get my witch. Sure. I was going to say, it's not that bad. You still have witch, so. <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. It could be worse. All right, off of witch, I'm going to pick up a magical merchant. Merchant is A-OK -okay with me. I think I'm just going to go ahead and set and pass. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. That's OK. I like that. Uh, I'm going to normal summon this Sangin. Sangin is fine. Battle phase, I'm going to punch into this face down here. Please let it be a fit. It is. It's yes, open that's what magician. I thought it was. I really mm -hmm. wanted it to be that. All right, so you're going to pop the Sangin? Yes, pop Sangin, you get the search. All right, cool. Off of Sangin, I'm just going to pick up another Witch of the Black Forest. Okay, so you've got Witch and Merchant in hand. Main phase two, I'm just going to end. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. I'm just going to set and pass. Go ahead. All right. If it lets me pass the turn. There you go. go. I'll draw. <laughs> All right, let's get a peek at what you're holding back there. I'm going to hit you with oh, confiscation. God. Let me see what those two cards uh, are. It's pretty good. So my hand is a Dekoichi and a Smashing Ground. Oh, which one am I more scared of? Uh, I think I'm They're more scared They're both really of good. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get rid of that Dekoichi. Okay neat um i'll just set and i'll end my turn go ahead all right i uh, will draw i'm gonna go ahead and flip up this uh gravekeeper guard set you back a turn here okay weird it's like i saw that play before <laughs> <laughs> and right. i'll hit you for a thousand i'll take the a thousand yeah main two i'll just set and pass all right i'll draw that is a killer draw my friend i'm gonna pot agreed yep you got it nice i'll just normal summon witch of the black forest and i'll go to battle phase and i'll try to attack over this guard i think i'm actually gonna sakuretsu this witch that is a-okay -okay with me dude awesome i'm gonna get that witch search and off of which i'm gonna pick up the mobius sure i'll just end my turn go ahead i will draw so i think i know you have merchant mobius you know i've got back. merchant mobius yep that's it oh uh, let's just get in for another thousand yeah, a thousand's fine i'll go main two and i will set two cards you're just not scared of heavy storm. Turn. I'll draw. <laughs> I'll activate smashing ground to get rid of that guard. Uh, yeah, he has been guarded. He's guarded his last guard. Um, yeah. <laughs> I will just set two and end my turn. Sure, I will draw. I will just set and pass. Go ahead. Awesome. I'll draw. Well, you have like every trap card in existence back there, probably. Um, <laughs> I will just tribute this face down spy for Jinzo. 
Sure. I'll go battle phase for 24. Take it. Awesome. Go ahead. Your turn, dude. I will draw. Well, that's awkward. That's very awkward. Well, smashing ground. Let's go. That is fine. Yep. See you, Jinzo. Did your work. Yeah. I mean, you knew I had it, so. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think I just have to pass the turn. Go ahead. Oh, awesome. I'll draw. I will just summon DD Warrior Lady. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bottomless that Warrior Lady. <laughs> Yeah, seems about right. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, your turn then, dude. All right, I will draw. Man, I just cannot draw a monster to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice draw. I guess I'll just set and pass. Go ahead, your turn. Okay, I will draw. Uh, this is awkward. Not gonna lie, bro. I don't know what's in your hand, but I think I got this one wrapped up. If you're struggling that much with your three cards in hand, I think yeah, I've got this. Do you if you saw monsters? my hand, you'd know, you know why it's so, like, yeah, so do you, frustrating. <laughs> do you have any monsters at all, dude? So I think I have to do this. This is actually, I think, kind of a similar situation to our Flaming Eternity game. You don't have any lights, and I know you have a Mobius and a Merchant in hand, and I kind of feel like you're trying to get the Merchant into the grave. Maybe in Warrior Lady was a light, too, but I was able to banish it. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to Wing Blast your set Sure, that's fine. Because I think it's Merchant, and I'd rather have you redraw it, and then I'm going to set and pass. All right, this is going to be a big push. Uh, uh, during the end phase of your turn, I'm going to activate Wing Blast on my own. I'm going to oh, okay. discard Zabor again. I'm going to stack that face down monster. Well, at least I knew that you had a tribute, another tribute in hand besides yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't so. bad. Oh, no, I already knew you had Mobius, so no, yeah. so it's fine. <laughs> and I'll draw for turn. Okay, so Mobius, supposedly Merchant, and then two other cards. Yeah, I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm going to summon Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, so it's just Chaos Sorcerer. <laughs> that was good, though. You're able to Wing Blast to get it out of your hand. Yeah, there. yeah. Oh, God. Chaos Sorcerer is good. I kind of wish I didn't use that Wing Blast. Sork is now, okay? Gonna awesome. I'm going to tribute um, this Chaos Sork. Or is it fine? Yeah. Do you have something? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right, I'm going to tribute the Chaos Sork for Mobius, and I'm just going to pop those two back row. I'm going to Torrential in response. All so right. I, man, I knew you, you were Sorker. holding on to that thing the whole game. I knew uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. well, that's it. So I'm just going to go set pass then. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, at least you have a back row. So that's pretty good. Do you draw uh, a monster I will yet? Just... Oh, no. You, well, you drew well, the one you I stacked. Yeah. Because you, you wing blasted. <laughs> uh, I'll just set two cards and I'll end my turn. Go ahead, dude. Okay. So at least you don't have Emperor. So I guess I should take some solace in that, I guess. This game has <laughs> grinded to a halt, man. I don't... <laughs> yeah, seriously. I will just set and pass. Go ahead. I'll draw. Uh... Wow. I'll flip merchant. That I'll is fine. my merchant. Yeah, okay. Magic train. I'll take it. You That's know what? One. It is what it is. It's pretty okay. I'll just go set, set, pass. Go ahead, dude. Okay, I will draw. I will just set a monster of my own, and I will pass the turn. Go ahead. Don't even want to attack over my magical merchant. Are you scared of him? <laughs> I'll draw. That's not what I'm scared of. I'm scared of everything else. <laughs> I'll throw that in defense. Go ahead. The real, <laughs> power move would, the real power move would be to leave him in attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the flex, you know? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip up Magical Merchant, see okay. if we can dig. Yeah, you can go dig. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we get a Wing Blast. Not bad. Now I will flip up this Sukiyomi. Oh, shit. And the attempt value. to flip my Merchant back down. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. The value. This is, this is tough. Just concede, bro. It's easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that would be the, the easiest outcome for you here. I'm going to tribute Sukiyomi for Thestalos. Yeah, that's fine. So rip the card out of your hand. So you got rid of my Dark Hole. That's pretty good. It's not I don't terrible. I not too much about that. I'm just going to set and pass. Okay, I will draw. I know you have Saku, so I think I want to keep this Thestalos around if I can. Set pass. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. I'm going to flip Merchant. Yeah, Merchant's fine. There goes that. Another Wing Blast. Okay. So you've got double Wing Blast. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just really don't want to attack with Destilos. Your guard is gone. Your spy. You have one spy. So you could have spies back there, which like spies, whatever. But I don't want to lose Destilos. I think that's the bigger issue right now. With that being said, I think I will set a card i will pass the turn awesome. go ahead i'll draw 
I will start my turn by normal summoning white magical hat. I'll go battle phase and I'll attempt to attack over this merchant. Well, that's probably going to force some action on my end. Here. That's what I figured. What do you got? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to Book of Moon target my merchant. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So merchant will get set. He'll reflip on the attack deck relation. So, yeah. Um, so you get the merchant. I'll just send him. To, he gets killed anyway, but yeah. I get to merch again. Oh, there goes another one. Another book of me. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Me. <laughs> Very sure. cool. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'll just go to the end of my turn. Go ahead, man. Okay. And then during your draw. draw phase, I'm going to activate Trap Dust Shoot. Oh, you thought you were going to get something out of my hand, didn't you? <laughs> oh, what is that BS? What the fuck? <laughs> Come on, dude. Snatch Steel Book. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Wow, great game, dude. Yep. Okay. Isn't it? I thought so. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and flip up this wing blast. I'm going to get rid of this bottomless, and okay. I'm going to stack that to the top of your deck. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So if I'm correct, I think your last set card is the magic drain you pulled off of Merchant, because I think that's where you set it. But I don't recall 100% for sure, which is a little bit frightening. So I'm actually going to gamble and see if I was correct. I'm going to snatch steal your white magical hat. Um, yeah, you can have it. Okay. Go battle phase. Sure. Hat into Merchant. Yep. Vestalos into this set. Okay, it's a spy. I don't have any more targets, so I'm not going to search. Oh, that's another spy you have set then. Okay, that's good. So main two, I am going to set a card and I will pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. You already gain a thousand from Snatch Steel. Yep, I'm going to gain a thousand. Thanks for life points, dude. I'll set a card and I'll just end my turn. Go ahead. Okay, so I will draw. I'm pretty convinced i know what you have now so i'm just gonna do what i already did i'm just gonna wing blast set that card to the top again damn dude uh yeah that's fine i'm going to normal summon another white magical hat ah all right the old double magical hat uh -huh. yep they're coming back yep that's fine that's the other spy and then i'll take two and this is 2k going straight at you straight to the dome and I will pass the turn. All right, I'll Go draw ahead. it. You gain, I gain do, your thousand. Do gain a thousand, yeah. People are really going to see the power of, of Phoenix Wing Wing Dude, Blast Dude, Wing now. Blast is nuts. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Can you kill me okay, with a draw? Uh, I know what that last back row is too. So it's like, oh man. It's tricky. <laughs> I'm going to go to battle phase. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take all of it. So 24. Oh. Oh, wait, okay. that's 44. Excuse me. 44 total, yeah. Okay. Whew. All right. We're out of Emperor range. We did it. <laughs> well, you'll be back into Emperor range when you oh, get that's that true, snatch because steel. Of snatch <laughs> yeah, steel. So. yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I will just go ahead and pass the turn. Draw. Rhoda? The Rhoda's fine, sure. All right. Oh, wow, Alex. Oh, wait, no, I thought I was out of targets. I have a target. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> that would have been I crazy. really thought I was out of targets. I was going to get so upset. All right, I guess I'll just normal summon Freed. Battle phase, I'll try to attack into your white magical hat. I'm just going to compulse it back to your hand. Yep, yep. Oh, you got this one, dude. I can't win. Oh, oh. yes. That's what I like. Oh, oh, my God. That was a struggle. Yeah, dude. I didn't get to see CED one time. You got lucky, oh, bro. You got lucky. Oh, God. God. I thought I had that game, too, in the beginning. I thought I had it, I like, down pat. I drew Pot of Greed, but I knew this was Magic Drain, yeah, so yeah, I couldn't yeah. fire it off. That is the Magic Drain, yeah. And then this one was my body as a shield, so you kept stacking oh, it, and I couldn't use it. Okay. I For the longest time, I just thought it was Sakuretsu armor, so I was trying to play around it the whole time. No. Oh, no, so, that so. double wing blast, dude. Oh my goodness. Wing blast is nuts. <laughs> yeah. So it's funny. You were still playing wall of revealing light. That's actually why I cut it. Act, um, just because it's like it, you have to pay for it. And then if you stack it, it just yeah. becomes like the worst draw imaginable. It's still like crazy though. Like if you don't have the wing blast, like yeah, that card just yeah. shuts down your whole board until you're able to get around it. So like I thought I had a big like decision <sighs> with that Mobius line when I picked up the Mobius off a of witch because mm -hmm. I was like thinking a few turns ahead and everything like that. And like, I don't know. It's just you came out on top of it. I thought when I cleared your board with the Mobius, I had it. I knew you had Torrential so and everything, but like, oh man. That was a yeah. sweat, dude. That was a good match. That was a really good game. Yeah, that was like just pure like execution. Uh, did you pull uh, brain control? No, I didn't. I pulled like five superers, oh. but none of them brain control. <laughs> I pulled two brain control. You got two brain... <laughs> two brain control? 
dude, what the fuck? Two of them? I didn't. Okay, at any consolation, I didn't play them because I only play two tribute monsters. Okay, so, like, yeah. they're not that good for me. Dude, <laughs> fucking imagine brain control being not that good. That's crazy, dude. I two know, right? Control. Well, this is like, I was talking about this in my deck building where Snatch Steel is just infinitely better. And, like, if so, if this were brain control, just hypothetically, it would have just probably lost me the game because I wouldn't have been able to put on the pressure with your guy as well. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the double white magical hat, bro. It came back. It's back. Yeah, he's, it, it, you know, it had to come back to, you know, put me back in the throne. Yeah, so you know, he, uh, I get he those did... dark revelation packs potentially this time around. Oh, you do get them this time around. I wonder what's, <laughs> in, what's in DR2 that's good, dude. Uh, it's DR1, so. I mean, oh, is yeah, it still so dark revelation one? Yeah, we're, we're still pretty far behind, but we're going to have to see. Wait, I wait. definitely think, oh. I mean, these games are just getting harder and harder, and cybernetic revolution is next. Cyber well, wait, Dragon's I... going to be in the mix. Are you sure you get DR1? Yeah, DR1. Why would you get DR1? Because it goes, it's dark beginning one, dark revelation one oh. and then it's dark beginning two oh. dark revelation two. oh my god i'm so sorry i got them all yeah. confused i was like didn't it's i like just <laughs> open a dark pack i was like what who did who was in charge of naming back in the day <laughs> <laughs> so guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh progression series hashtag team simo hashtag team gauge be sure to let us know these games are getting intense and cybernetic revolution is gonna bring in cyber dragon it's gonna be disgusting so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time